Welcome everybody to this new video. I'm going to show you today how to get started by adding ads account into the Facebook Business Manager. So the very first thing I wanted to do, of course, is to create a Facebook Business Manager account. If you focus here into the business.facebook.com, you might be having the actual prompt to create your very first business portfolio. So in this case, I do have my online media portfolio. And here what you can do is to get started by adding account elements. So what I wanted to do, of course, is to complete my profile. Once you have an actual business portfolio, what you wanted to do is to enroll the actual stuff in order to create some ads. For example, if I wanted to use Facebook and Instagram to create ads, well, what I need to do is to link a Facebook page and an actual uh, Instagram account in order to do it so. So for that, let's focus into business settings. So here into business settings, what I wanted to do is to focus into the pages and the accounts that I do have available inside my meta. So as you can see, we have pages. Inside pages, what you can do is to add your very first page or create a new page for your business. In this case, we already have a Facebook page. But if you don't, you can always create an actual new page here into the upper side. Once we created an actual page, what I wanted to do is to look out for an Instagram account so I can get started by adding Instagram uh, ads. So I'm going to go for add and just follow the prompts in order to connect to Instagram account. Once you have successfully done that, your actual account should be having the business portfolio. And inside the business portfolio, you actually have the element. So and once you have your business portfolio, what you can do is now to add an ad account. So to create an actual ad account, what you can do is to go directly once again into the business settings. So focus here into business settings. And here what you want to do is to click into the section that says ad account. So if you don't have an actual ad account, it's going to be prompted and of course telling you how we can get started totally for free. So I'm going to go here into accounts, go for ad account. Here, let's focus and select the option that says ad and create a new ad account. This one won't let me because I already have an actual ad account, but in your case, just go ahead and create a new one. Once you have your account created, you're not going to be seeing the actual availability of your ID, which is actually this one. Now what I can do is to start by having access to the ads manager. So before I have access to the ads manager, what you want to do is to make sure that you have added the actual payment method in order to run ads. So directly here into the payment settings or the billing and into payments, I'm going to open this into an actual new tab. What I'm going to do here is to add the payment method. So here into your account, as you can see, it appears as active. So I'm going to go here into payment method and I wanted to call uh, and I wanted to add a business payment method. So this one can be shared and modify the permission depending on how we can get started and so add your payment method and when you're finished, then we can go back into the business settings. Now let's get started with creating the actual ad. So to create your ad, let's move on to ad manager. So as you can see, we have to open this into ad manager. If you don't see it, you can always go into admanagers.facebook.com. Once you are in here, what we can do is to get started and creating our very first campaign. So as you can see into the upper side, we have the ID that we have just created. If there was a problem with the payment method that you have just added, you can just edit it here and add a new payment method. Now let's go in here into this green button and go for create. So in this case, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose what are my campaign objectives. Well, that could be a wellness, traffic engagement leads, ad promotion or sales. In this case, I'm going to go for traffic, send people to a specific destination. For example, like in a, uh, a website, whatever. If you wanted to, of course, look out for a wellness for your socials, choose this option. Now let's look out for the option that says continue. And now in this case, what you can do is to choose the recommendation settings to, of course, have more optimization and meet our goals much more faster. Let's go into continue and let's set up our very first ad set. In this case, here's my campaign name. In this case, let's go, for example, social growth. Now in here, I can totally suggest that you just leave this as a list and focus into the set ad set that appears here. Now here into ad set name, what I'm going to be doing here is to go for Facebook and Instagram ads number one. So in this case, I have the composing. So choose where you wanted to drive engagement. In this case, what I'm going to be doing here is to choose the option that says uh, Facebook page. So get people to engage with Facebook page. 
I want to maximize my ghost. Here is my Facebook page. If you don't have one, you can create a new one. And lastly, we have, of course, the budget and the schedule. So in this case, what I do is to choose a daily budget because I don't know how much money I would like to spend at the end of all the actual ad. So let's go for something easy, for example, like this. And as you can see, into the right part, we have the estimate daily results, how much people are going to be reaching our ad and how many page likes we can get daily. And lastly, what we can do is to check out the locations. So here into the location, what you can do is to add people. Let's say, for example, not only to the United States, but we can do Mexico, we can do Canada, we can do Spain, we can do so much more. And of course, the more elements you choose, the more estimate daily results you might be getting. And of course, choose a minimum age and choose the language that you want to uh, get started in. And lastly, of course, the ad set that appears here. In this case here, I choose ad name and I choose the name of my ad. For example, let's go for post number one. The identity should be my Facebook page. The ad creative, it should be the media that I can add with my images, with videos or whatever. Now, you can add posts if you already have posts created into Facebook and use those as an ad if you wanted to. So check out how it actually gonna be looking your actual post. Here I have the primary text. For example, check out my new uh, ebook and have the destination and we even have text generation that can help you to add text variation and to make this much more interesting and lastly here i have the destination in this case uh, i don't have an actual button and the tracking is going to leave this as it is and check out how it actually going to be looking here into my facebook so lastly what i need to do of course is to create the ad and hit into published once you hit into published we need to wait till this actual campaign has now been approved and we're actually ready to go guys and as you can see we are now have here into the ads manager all the actual elements about our campaign we can check out our ad sets our ads we can check out the conversions how much money we just spend it the amount spent the conversion engagement and all of that so this is a very easy way of how we can get started by publishing ads here into Facebook, guys. So you have successfully created an ads account into Facebook Business Manager, and you have set up your first ad campaign. So with these steps, you can start reaching your target audience and driving results. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a use a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share this video. Stay tuned for only media for more valuable tips and tutorials, guys. Until next time.